When factoring trinomials, sometimes we come up across problems that have two variables in them. We must be aware of the more variables when we use the reverse FOIL process. And just account for those variables as we go through the same exact steps. So for example, if we had 12x squared minus 5xy minus 2y squared, we can go through the exact same steps trying to find the binomials that were multiplied together to give us the trinomial. We know that first times first must equal first. How do we multiply to 12x squared? Well, there's several ways, so we'll just guess one. 12x squared might be 4x times 3x. 12, 4x times 3x. Then we know that the last term times the last term has to multiply to the last term, the negative 2y squared, which means we need a y. Well, the only way to get 2 is 2 times 1. So we might try 2 times 1, but you might notice, ooh, there's a GCF in that binomial, 4x times 2. I mean, 4x and 2, they're both divisible by 2, so that's, that's bad. So let's switch the order. Let's put 1 times 2. Now, we want to check this. We want to check our signs. We know we want to end up with a negative 2. Why? Ooh, I forgot the y. Just started talking about it. 1y times 2y, and we don't really need the 1 in front of the y. We know one of them has to be negative, so that they multiply to a negative number. And we also know we want them to add to negative 5xy. So on the outside, 4x times 2y is 8, 8xy. And on the inside, y times 3x is 3xy. Now we want them to add to negative 5. Can we get negative 5 with these numbers? We can if the 8 is negative. Negative 8xy plus 3xy is the negative 5xy we want. So the negative 8, that came from the outside, so we need that one to be negative. And the positive 3, that came from the inside, so we want the inside term to be positive. And we have now factored this polynomial. Our final answer is 4x plus y times 3x minus 2y. Again, we can always check our factoring by foiling out the solution. 4x times 3x is 12x squared. 4x times negative 2y is negative 8xy. y times 3x is 3xy. y times negative 2y is negative 2y squared. And those middle terms are the exact middle terms that we expected to see to give us 12x squared minus 5xy minus 2y squared, which matches the original problem. This tells us that we did, in fact, factor it correctly. Let's try another example. Let's try and factor the 6x squared minus 17xy plus 10y squared. Now we know we want to multiply to 6x squared with first times first. Well, that might be 3x times 2x. We also know that last times last has to equal the last term of 10y squared. Well, 10y could be 5y times 2y. Ooh, careful. Notice there's a GCF there in the second binomial. Those are both divisible by 2. So our terms must be backwards. Let's make it 2y and 5y. Hopefully, this will work better. Now, we want to end up with the middle of negative 17xy. So when we multiply first times first, 3x times 5x is 15xy, and 2y times 2x is 4xy. Are those going to give us negative 17? We know we want them to multiply to a positive, so they're both positive or both negative. 15 plus 4 is 19. 
That doesn't work. That's okay. Throw it out, we'll try something else. So, we could try changing the 2y and the 5y, but that's the only way we can multiply to 10. Well, maybe 10 times 1. But now the numbers are getting really big. That makes me nervous. So, let's try something else. Um, what's another way we can multiply to the 6x squared? It could be 6x times 1x. The most common thing students forget is 6 times 1, or 7 times 1, multiplying times 1. Don't forget to check that one. So, with the 10y squared, 10y is still 2y times 5y. Oh dear, there's a common factor in the first term. So, let's make it 5y times 2y. We don't like having common factors when we're factoring our binomials. Again, because we want it to be a positive 10y squared, they're either both positive or both negative. It's the only way we multiply to a positive. I did it in the wrong color. Purple. We said 5y times 2y. So, let's see if that works. On the outside, 6x times 2y is 12xy. On the inside, 5y times x is 5xy. Those both add to 17xy, but we want a negative, so we'll make them both negative. So, they both add to negative 17xy. We now have our solution. 6x minus 5y times x minus 2y. If there's more variables, we go through the same exact process and just account for that second variable in the second term.